I've been asked to critique the latest TriMet recruitment video. And as you probably know, I, I, uh, I really like doing these. So we're going to do it. Let's begin. I'm a morning guy. I would rather do morning work. Okay, well, right there I object. I know there are people that actually do like to get up at 5 a.m., 4 a.m., 3 a.m. in the middle of winter and go drive a bus, but I am not one of them, and I know a lot of other people that are not one of them. However, if you are one of them, there's your job. I could have probably signed a straight, but I work a split. So. Okay. All right. There's another objection. I never checked any windshield wipers. I never, actually, I never checked anything because they give you 10 minutes from, unless they've changed that. I don't think they have. From, from when you walk into the garage and pick up your, your pouch, that thing he was carrying around. I, they haven't updated the pouch in, since the beginning of TriMet. That pouch, that thing he's carrying around, you have to pick that up and take it with you for the whole day. That, that's been the same since the beginning of TriMet. I didn't check anything because they gave you 10 minutes. And back in the old days, I can say that now because uh, it's actually changed. You had to punch all your transfers and stuff. And it took 10 minutes to just get all that stuff together. So I never checked anything. never checked any wipe, uh, windshield wipers or anything. And wiping off the... <laughs> the lights. Are you crazy, man? Who the hell? What the? I knew one guy that used to do that. It was Steve Fung. He used to do. He used to go in there early and clean his bus. Uh, he could have signed a a straight, but he he prefers a split. Now, I, let me tell you one, one thing about that right there. When you sign a split shift, you you take your day and you you stretch it out to maybe 12 hours so you you get up at six you get home at seven let's say but you so that's a 13 hour day and you're only going to get paid for eight nine ten whatever it is so i don't know i never understood why anybody preferred a split shift you, unless you have school or something in the middle i work a morning shift and then i work an afternoon shift i don't mind that break i actually get things done i had a dentist did you see what he's doing there? He's cranking, he's hand cranking the block and train sign. I, I thought they got a, that must be an old bus because I know that they don't do that anymore. Appointment yesterday that worked out very well. Yep, one hundred percent accurate. That's exactly where I used to hang my pack. I have never driven anything but boats on trailers around. Um, I was a cook for many years and and then I was in the funeral and cemetery business. <laughs> he was in the funeral and cemetery business. <laughs> That's an interesting background, I, I have to admit. Good morning. How are you today? Good. Yeah. And when I got here, I was a writer for nine months. And that is how I came to be a bus operator. One of the operators asked me what I was doing for the day, and I told him I was outputting in applications. And he suggested that I put in an application to TriMet. And days later, uh, I got a call. Yeah, yeah, that's 100% believable. That's pretty much how they get people, you know, word of mouth, families, friends. That's always been their, I, that's always been their best way to recruit, I guess, is people that have already been there, unless they know me, and you don't want to use my name if you do know me and you go over there. All right, thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Southwest Maine is second. Do your best to help somebody today. Oh, isn't that cute, a little philosophical bus driver?
Very cute. Thank you. I'm a people person, so I, I do enjoy picking up customers. And, and I have um, customers that I have picked up morning after morning. I enjoy talking to them. I enjoy finding out how their evening went and uh, delving a little bit into their lives and finding out. Yeah, that's that's 100 percent accurate. That's that's if you want a people person job, this is really the job because you will interface with every single strata of society, every single personality, every every single dimension of human beings. So if you if you enjoy people, this is a job for you. If you don't like people, you got some chip on your shoulder, or you you know some kind of weird attitudes about race or something, definitely stay away from this profession. If you really like people, though, it's, it is, I probably think, the best job in the world if you want to meet people from stratas that you would never have met them from any other realm in life. This is, this is really the job, and that's really the unknown beauty of this job. If you really do enjoy humanity, you have a front row seat to human the real humanity, not the technocratic class or the people living in gated communities, but the real people, and it's a fascinating world. Who they are as a person. Hey, good morning, y'all. Good, good morning, sir. What's up, man? Thank you. No, I really want to know, and this isn't a joke, because if you can, somebody's filming these riders as they get on the bus. Now, I want to know, and I, I've actually put this comment on the TriMet YouTube site. Did you, did you get express permission to film those riders. I mean, that was a big, that was a big thing that always hit me with. Is that I, di I didn't ask before I filmed anybody. I mean, of course, they never enforce that rule against anybody but me. But I mean, here we see Trim at the company filming people, and it doesn't look to me like they got express permission. What's, and I'm, the point being, of course, is you know they have their little rules, and they only use them when they don't like somebody. Hang on, please. I mean, the customer service is a huge part of this. Obviously, safety is our main concern. But Yeah, right. Safety is your main concern. You're damn right safety is your main concern because you really find about you really find out how trimet it is in reality when something goes wrong. If somebody gets hurt or some, some shit happens, that's when you find out about the company, okay? Because then you see where they stand. All this looks really nice and stuff. But when something goes wrong, and I guarantee you, something's going to go wrong, okay? I mean, it, even the best drivers have incidents, okay? And and so you will you will encounter the other side of TriMet safety. It's self-preservation, you know. The, as a bus driver, you want to not not crash, not hurt people. Be careful, and and don't get passengers pissed off at you because you have you're going to be there every day. You really want people pissed at you when you're when you're sitting in the same seat every day so yeah safety is a concern sounds like the company coached him on that one being able to be a part of someone else's life i think is a big part of this job Pat, he just cut off the bike lane okay that is a no-no Study hard, do everything your teacher tells you to do. <laughs> maybe that guy is like that, I don't know. I mean, uh, you know, it's a little bit corny, but uh, maybe he's like that. I, I don't know, some people, I guess, are like that. I mean, I wouldn't be preaching anything to no high school students. Are you crazy? <laughs> See you next time, tomorrow. I've had some very stressful and anxiety-filled jobs in my past, and this one is not. <laughs> okay, okay, we we have the first actual lie in in the uh, in the presentation. You know, to say this is not an anxiety-filled job is just a blatant lie. It's very high ten. It's very high stress. You you're on stage the entire shift. You got a whole bus full of people watching you. Okay, you have people in cars around you while you have a company that's obsessed with the minutia of your of your job it's a highly stressful job okay and, and that's a lie
Okay, take that back, mister. You know that what I'm talking about. You can relax and have be okay, but to say that it's not a stressful job is just untrue. That's that's the first wait in line. I'm able to take the bus out, greet people and then come back and lay my head on a pillow at night without too much stress involved. You know, when you have a good day and everything went well and you had some good times and you enjoyed the company of your of your compatriots and the passengers, yeah, okay. But that doesn't always work out that way. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Have a great day. I think things happen for a reason. I know that nothing happens by mistake, and, and I believe I'm in a position today to help others. Hey, it's just a bus driver, but I am able to help other people. Actually, he, he's underestimating the effect that bus drivers have on people's lives. It's actually one of the most important jobs for the people that are using the bus. I mean, you do have the power to make or break somebody's day. You see somebody running for that bus, and you leave. You've just ruined their day. But if you wait, you've just made their day. And I mean, you do have significant effect upon the lives of the transit-dependent people. That, that's not to be underestimated. That's a huge responsibility if you understand the spiritual level of things, you know. If you understand the spirituality of the, the human condition, and the connections between humans is not to be taken lightly. That's, it might be a job that's devalued culturally because the culture doesn't value anything important if you really look at it, okay, closely. The things that are least important are the most important to the culture, but the culture, well, I don't need to tell you about the culture. Just look around. Throughout my day, and that gives me great joy and keeps me willing to keep coming back. Okay, so what's my final evaluation? It's the best of the recruitment movies. It's the most accurate of the recruitment movies. It's, it's a fairly accurate depiction of the job without talking about the negatives and you know, they haven't, they're not going to talk about the negatives in a recruiting video, obviously. They're not going to talk about the negatives at all, because those of us that study TriMet and, and uh, blog it and are enthusiasts of the culture know how they operate. Just, <laughs> TriMet managers and executives, they're not going to talk about anything negative. They'll, they'll gloss it over as fast as possible, and they will only concentrate on the positive things that they want to talk about. They'll only, they'll only talk about that. Uh, the mainstream media being the puppet of the government, basically. I mean, I don't know why anybody really listens to mainstream media anymore after that last election where they showed how uninformed they are about everything, how little they, they get. The mainstream media, though, will basically reprint TriMet press releases. If you ever watched any of the mainstream media, they will reprint uh, press releases from TriMet, and there's no investigation of TriMet ever. Joe Rose did a pretty good expose on uh, Neil McFarland's bonuses, which wouldn't have come out, and Joe Rose did some other things that I helped him with back in the old days. Uh, but there's, there's very little investigation. TriMet is able to get away with more bullshit because, you know, they're in total control of the message, except for the social media. And as we saw with the election of Donald Trump, the social media is more important than the mainstream media.